Hey, I'm Claire, and I'm based out of Los Angeles, California, but I'm originally from Paris, France, and lived in DC growing up. I would have to say that photography really chose me. Uh, when I was 18, I discovered photography meetups in DC, and after months of super nervously watching the meets on Instagram and wanting to go, I decided to just go for it, even though I literally didn't even own a camera. And uh, I just completely fell in love with photography at those photography meets, seeing how everyone was so passionate about creating and, and shooting, and it really woke up this passion in me that I didn't know I had. Um, so I really owe it all to DC photography meetups back in like 2014, 2015. I think the biggest challenge as a female photographer really has been sometimes feeling alone in the industry as it is a pretty male dominated industry. There's been a lot of times where I felt like I had to really prove myself maybe a little bit harder than male counterparts. Um, there was a sense of really high competition being a woman in the industry and having to work a little bit harder, put yourself out a little bit more, be a little bit more aggressive with trying to get work and getting your name out there. Um, but I think that those challenges really also made me grow as an artist and as a creative. Um, I had to push myself to get to the level that I wanted to be at and I will always forever be grateful for that. I think what makes me different is that my photography is very edgy and um, the poses that I use are very dramatic and outspoken. I think I evoke uh, an emotion and an attitude in my subjects that I'm able to do by posing them in a more outspoken, aggressive manner by really using their body as um, the art piece, as the art form. Um, I think brands really love that I am able to take their products and not just place them into a photo, but really um, involve the product and the emotion by not just shooting a sneaker on a model. I'm able to integrate the product in a way that the storytelling behind the, the shoe is very obvious, that they're able to really connect with themselves and their environment while also using the product naturally. The best advice I ever received was to stay in my lane. I think when I first started shooting, I was really worried about what other people thought of me and how they were viewing my work and if they were judging my work. But I think that when I really focused on the stay in your lane quote, it was very much understanding that what people think of my work doesn't matter. As long as I'm confident in my work and I truly am passionate about it and I feel something real for my work that I really am fully in love with it, I'm able to be a better photographer. I'm able to create a more diverse work by focusing on my immediate love for the art and not focusing on does he like my work does she think it's cool it's really do i think it's cool do i love my work is it something that is speaking to me am i in love with what i'm creating i would tell my younger self just to be confident to believe in herself to to just dive into every type of photography to dive into every hobby that i'm interested in not just focus on what's popular or what's going crazy on Instagram, but to really dive in on the specifics of the art that I'm into and to go for it, to experiment, to say yes to everything. Every time an opportunity arises to say yes, to fully invest yourself physically and emotionally into every project that comes up and to be open to error, but to not judge yourself based on that error. I would tell new female artists to just go for it. If you have an idea, go for it, shoot it, make it happen. Don't worry about what people think. Don't worry about if it's perfect enough uh, of the technicalities of the photography or whatever art you're pursuing. Just go for it. If you feel something, do it. And the more you focus on what you really love, the more you're going to be able to express that into your art and people will recognize that. People recognize real. So the more of yourself look into your work and do and just go for it, the more you will appreciate it and the more your audience and your friends and your community will also appreciate it.